I grew up in upstate New York, and I started dancing like 12 in a place called Saugerties Ballet Center. I always was like a kid that like needed to do, f I needed to be physical, I needed to use my mind. I, I, I'm not, I was never good with boredom ever. Like if I'm bored, it's just not good for me. So, but then also like the physicality of ballet, the, the sport aspect of ballet, it's underrated, especially like in the States in comparison to like Europe. It's incredible because you get to use your mind, you get to use musicality, you get to use... And it's like the hardest thing physically compared to anything that I did with baseball and soccer and any sport that I did, it, it did not compare to what I could do with ballet because I could work on it every day and I could dive into it as deep as I wanted to. Plus it was a way for me to uh, express myself that I never had before and I, I just caught the bug and then it just like kind of, it took me on this ride. Roller coaster of a career, like the ballet for anybody who's, who's in the ballet world, it is like a roller coaster and that's just inevitable. You're with a group of artists, everybody in the room's an artist, you know, so there's the dynamics of it and you, you know, you can have your uh, highs and highs and lows of lows with injuries and things. But yeah, it was awesome. I danced here at Ballet Met for 12 seasons with Gerard, and then Edward took over, and then I retired 2020. Now that I'm kind of outside company life, I kind of have freedom where I can do anything I want. I can put together anything. Like, yeah, the sky's the limit. But then that puts more pressure on me because I'm like, okay, I have to take this bubble of um, a thought that I have. I was like, I think it's possible to... So it's slowly been uh, over like the last like four or five years where it's like started to like morph into something that can be physical. I'm the fifth generation of a hardware store. My father being a woodworker and like, uh, he'll say he's not an artist, but he is an artist. And my mom's an artist. Art was very important in my household. So I am kind of them put together. I grew up with saws. I grew up with all these tools. I grew up, go out in the woods and build a tree house. Like, you know. So I always used my hands and I always knew how to use tools. And then like slowly but surely, I would acquire my own tools. Like I remember I bought my first bandsaw from Habitat for Humanity for 50 bucks. The first piece I ever made, I had all these extra pieces because I was making furniture for my house. And I didn't want to pay $3,000 for a table when I could make it for nothing. So then I had all the extra scraps and I just, you know, I bought this bandsaw. I was like, oh cool, I can do these little tiny cuts now that I couldn't do safely on the table saw because I wanted to keep my fingers. Um, and and then I just, for, I just made a circle and I, it just like, it, and I just had it relief and go out. And then I would put it on my wall. And then at that time, Ballet Met was asking dancers to kind of donate. You can have like a dinner with a dancer. And so they asked me and I said, hey, I'm making this art. And then, yeah, I donated it. And that's how that started. So that's what I'm doing now. I do it every day. I create pieces. Basically starting a new career from the ground up. Like ballet, it's all on me. Like I have to create the pieces I have to, it's, which is a, a thing that I like to do the most. But what I'm working on now is where I have a piece of art that emotes some type of feeling, which then I would compose music for. And then I would choreograph like a little short, a little ballet. I like the pressure of like putting a timeline on something so that I have to do it. Because I feel if I don't, then I'll just, oh, I want to do this. Oh, I want to do this. Because again, I, I don't like being bored and I do a lot of different things in the art world. But they all inspire each other, so that's why I was like, I need to figure out how I can put them all together. 
because then I can create something that's super unique to me and then because it's always been like I compose but I dance but I create art and it was always like I would have to talk to people separately about everything I did and then he would be like oh but you compose and then you know so it was always a, like I would always go like this is my composing mind and then this is my dancer mind and then this is my but they're all linked to me all the movement for me creating the art now especially and and before is like this state of flow that I find because I'm not around my phone dancers are so fortunate and so lucky to be able to go into a studio and have interactions these powerful human interactions with people and finding this state of flow When I was a dancer, creating the art was something that I didn't have to move. So I could be like a little sore and I could just sit at the table and it's just a very slow process, gluing one piece at a time. So I think it was a form of me getting away from the ballet world. Like say the ballet world was just uh, super dramatic that day. I was like, okay, I need to get away. So it was always a way for me to get away and to, but to still be creative and to still feel like I had my voice and I could find a state of flow and then once you're done you have something to show for it. I really enjoy tapping into the machine that is the human mind instead of everybody's on a computer and everybody's filtering through what the computer can do for me but tapping into this and how you can you can dive deeper into your, your mind and create, I think is something that I've always done my whole life. There's definitely a correlation between the state and the mindset that I can put myself in where I can lose myself, because that is like the best high in the world is to be able to go in and just like completely lose yourself and not be aware of how much time went by. And that's what art did, that's what dance did, music, performing. Yeah, I'm super fortunate and lucky to be able to do that. <laughs>